Hey guys, Ryan here with AZ Quail today. This is my house, my backyard. I wanted to show you my pigeon coop. One of the things that I do just to help offset the cost of dog training is trap my own birds. And uh, and then I keep a, a coop here in my backyard. So I actually got deals with uh, different in businesses or organizations or whatever, or friends that have bird, a bird problem. and. I give them a couple of traps, show them how to catch some birds, get phone calls, and then um, I get birds. And so um, I'll try to show you my little coop. And uh, I, you can see right here, this is my fence line. I live in an HOA. And so up there you can see the bird coop. And so uh, for me, I live in town and I wanna be able to have kind of a low profile. So. Here's my coop right here, you can see behind me. Uh, I just built this myself out of scrap wood and uh, got it in the backyard here, next to the trash cans and whatnot. Keep a little bird scooper. Got my nice little skull. <laughs> I found that out in the back country, which is a little odd. It's a little goat. Uh, and uh, keep a a couple of little tools which that I found uh, to be handy just for moving in and out of uh, there. One of the things that you find is that your dogs will want to get in here and eat the bird droppings and that's pretty gross. So you want to build some kind of protection so the dogs can't get in there. And here's my, my uh, pigeon coop. So pretty simple, just made out of two by fours, scrap wood. And then I got lucky and found them in an aluminum frame down there, you can see. Uh, but anyway, I grabbed these birds. These are birds that I've trapped or had somebody trapped for me and I just go pick them up. And uh, I put the food down here. So I built this kind of little shelf. So when the birds are sitting up there, I sit, sit my food in here so that they can't poop right on it. I got a little shoe box or a box of sorts. Of, these birds, oftentimes you'll get, grab a bird and the birds are uh, gonna be laying eggs. And so that turns into an issue. And if you don't have a spot for it, then it kind of makes a messy situation. So anyway, that's my bird, my bird coop, my pigeon coop. And I love it because I always like having birds on hand and uh, I'm able to turn around and help share some pigeons with others. And, uh, so you, you can buy them at Pratt's uh, Pet Store if you're in the Phoenix Valley, Pratt's Pet Store over in Glendale. And uh, I don't remember what they cost, but uh, you know, it's a drive over there and uh, I make sure my birds are super healthy and strong and got good feed and water and shade and all that because uh, you don't want to torture them and they get a flying chance. And I can reuse pigeons over and over again with certain techniques in which you use and uh, using blank guns and all that. So anyway, that's pigeons uh, in a pigeon coop and you can build your own. Um, you saw mine in there. And if you've got questions, comments, or better ideas on how to build them, and uh, let me know. Hope that helps for all of you do-it-yourselfers. And uh, this is Ryan from AZ Quail today. We'll see you soon.